Hi everyone and welcome to another car boot haul. It was very cold this morning, it was minus one when I went out at half seven. So I wasn't expecting great things today. Um, I went to the local ones because I wasn't driving half an hour to the big other one and I didn't really have much luck there last time, it's full of traders. So I'll give that a miss, I might go there next week if the weather's good, but we'll see. So I went to my local one which is really good because it's full of family sellers. And I also popped to the Tesco Trader, <laughs> the car boot after, I think I might start calling it that. Because it is literally 95% traders and a couple of families, it's absolutely ridiculous. I only got three DVDs from that, that one, but the other one I did quite well at because it's family sellers. But at Tesco's they've got an in-post locker so I can deposit my parcels there, so kill two birds with one stone. So at least it's good for something. So this is a quick overview of what I've got. So I'll go through it, what I've paid, and I have researched some of it already, so I'll tell you what it's worth. So I'll start with the media. This is a sealed 4K Iron Man uh, Blu-ray, which I was quite surprised to see at Carbu. It has got a sticker on the back. I don't know if I'll sell it with the case or not. I'll see if I can get that off first. I paid £2 for it, it's selling for about £14.99, brand new sealed on eBay, so that's what I'll put it up for. Next, just some general DVDs. These are only 50p each, so that's why I picked them up. Got Walking Dead Season 1. This looks strange, so I got it. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons, Wrath of the Dragon God, I doubt it's worth any money, but... I picked it up anyway, 50p. I sealed the thing, I thought that would be quite good for 50p as it was sealed. And another sealed one, Rowan Atkinson in Mr Bean's Holiday. No idea if it's worth anything, but sealed. So 50p, picked it up. These are the three that I picked up from the Tesco Trader car boot. Uh, I always do really well with these old James Bond ones. These aren't even digitally remastered. These were the first ever releases. I know uh, at least GoldenEye's got a different cut. It's got some scenes cut out of it because of violence. Uh, so I know GoldenEye seems to sell well because it's a different cut. But the others seem to as well. I never keep hold of them more than a week on my shop for some reason. Uh, so yeah, 50p I saw this, Live and Let Die. So I thought I'd give that a go. It's got the booklet and everything inside. Phantom Menace. This is always the one that I can't find at car boots. Um, the other two, Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith, are quite common. But I never seem to find a Phantom Menace. So, And Phantom Menace seems to sell the best for me. <laughs> for some reason. Uh, so yeah, 50p, I was picking that up. And this one I see quite a lot. Night of the Museum 1 and 2. I do have one on my shop at the moment. I've sold one in the past as well. And for 50p, I wasn't leaving it there because I know this one does sell. Not for much, but it still sells. Next, I picked up a VHS. My first ever VHS that I've picked up at a car boot sale. Star Trek Generations, it was 50p. I wouldn't have bought it if it wasn't Star Trek or Star Wars. Um, or Doctor Who. I might pick up Doctor Who VHS if I see them ever. I don't. <laughs> So I thought I'd pick this up. I have looked up how much it's worth. It's worth about four ninety nine, pushing five ninety nine maybe if I start it at that, and I'll just come down. Uh, but yeah, VHS, <laughs> random. Next, this was actually the first thing I picked up this morning. It was a vintage Care Bear. You can tell it's vintage because the plastic bits and the plastic hair. Modern ones don't have the plastic hair on. I think it's health and safety. That's why they don't have it on anymore. But yeah, this is a pound. Um, that can sell for around fourteen ninety nine, twelve ninety nine, the lowest really. Uh, so yeah, that's a nice item to find. The guy also had two Beanie Babies. I recognise these. These are lefty and righty. They don't have the tags, unfortunately. These were a pound each, and because it was the first thing that I picked up. I thought I'd pay that. Normally I probably wouldn't have bought them, but I thought I wasn't going to pick up anything today, but I actually did. So. <laughs> These are a pound each. Together, they'll be around the 9 99 mark as a bundle. And next, the lady had these. I seem to collect quite a lot of these at Car Boots. They're the McDonald's Top Trump sets. I've got quite a lot now, and you can pick them up relatively cheap. 
Uh, now, she wanted 75p for the whole bag, so I was picking that up all day long. Next, there was a lady who had some kids stuff. She was selling some builder bears. They were just generic with clothing for five pounds. I wasn't buying those. But she had a little tub of just odds and ends. And I was like, are these with the bears or are you selling them separate? And she said she wants some separate. So I thought that's great because I knew I want these. I don't want the bears. And she said these were a pound. Now these are quite unusual looking. They're like Ugg boots for Builder Bears. I seem to be building up quite a knowledge about Builder Bear clothing, which is pretty random. But I don't see these very often. I've never had them before. And she wanted a pound for them. So I thought for a pound, these were quite good. I have looked them up. Someone sold one recently uh, for um, 7 99 roughly. So I might try 9 99 and go from there. She also had this for 50p, it's a Lego pen. I've had uh, one similar before, it's a construction worker. So I don't know if it was working, but we'll give it a go. And that my last one sold really quickly, so that's why I picked this up for 50p. Next for a pound, there was a stall selling this. It's a pair of Stitch Kids slippers. They're official Disney. Um, they don't look like they've been worn much. Uh, there's a stain on one of them, just on the bottom. I will try and get that off, but we'll see. Um, that were a pound. I haven't researched them yet. I don't know how much they'll be. Probably not a lot. Nine ninety nine, twelve ninety nine, maybe. Next, another one of these. I've had. The a few of these before. Um, it's 75p, so I picked it up. I don't know if it's working yet, uh, but 75p is no great loss if it doesn't. They sell around the £8 mark for me, uh, 7 at the least. Next, I picked up this cushion because it looked quite unique, and I think it would be sellable. It needs a bit of a clean. I don't know how I'm going to clean it. Um, but it's Betty Boop. Um, it has got a Betty Boop label on, so I'm presuming it's official. Um, but yeah, it's unusual looking, that's why I picked it up. And I'm sure Betty Boop sells. There's not really any comps on this, nothing the same anyway. There was a fluffy cushion that sold for £17.99, so I'll probably just put mine up for £17.99 and go from there. That one cost £2.50. And then there was the Macmillan charity stall um, selling these um, boxes of Duplo and they wanted fiver each for them so £10 for the two. I bought several boxes of Duplo now and they all seem to be £5 a box every time. It's like a standard price uh, from different sellers at the car boots. There's got some random... Is that Aristocats? Or, I don't know. Oh no, it's that one, the flying one. They're flying on a eagle or something. <laughs> Can't remember. Yeah, I'll find out what that is. It's Disney. I don't think it's worth anything. I might just have to go in the charity shop back. But yeah, ten pound for two boxes of dupe loaf, and it was a charity stall, so I didn't mind paying that for it. And there are some figures in there. There's another random figure. But yeah, most of it's dupe loaf, and it's vintage. So, I know it will sell. Um, so yeah, I haven't even sorted out um, all my Duplo yet. <laughs> oh, there's another one. There's another one exactly the same. Um, I've got boxes of it um, sat in the stock room. I, it's because it needs washing. I hate washing Duplo. It's really irritating. But yeah, so I'll just dunk it up. I might even use the bath. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'll just, one day I'll just have to wash it all. When it's hot and sunny, because it will dry quicker then. But yeah, not too bad. £10 for two boxes of Jeep clothes. So that's everything I bought today. Total spend was 25 50 which was not too bad, I suppose, for a freezing cold morning. Um, on the stuff that I've researched, um, which isn't a lot of it, 
that it comes back already at over £70, so not too bad a morning, I don't think. So I hope you enjoyed that haul. Hopefully over the coming weeks, my hauls will get bigger when the sun starts coming out and it's not minus one in the mornings. <laughs> so other than that, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon. Take care, bye.